Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Gentlemen in the streets, freak in the sheets. And real quick, freak, that is more distinctly uh, a term used in uh, more urban, black urban communities. It just means somebody who's going to get wild in bed. And I've talked about this before. I've talked about this before, and it's even a general theme of my book, Nice Guys and Players. That's a general theme. Women want that gentleman. They want that good guy. They do. They really do. They want that good guy who's, you know, going to provide, going to protect, you know, provide even if they making money, can still be in a position where they can sit back and chill who's going to protect them, who's going to be a gentleman, somebody they could take to the family cookout or somebody that they can introduce to their parents. Think about it like that. And the parents are like, good. Somebody they can go to church with, the mosque with, the synagogue with, the circle in the woods with, whatever. Oh yeah, they want that. They also want you to knock it out the box. They want you to tear them up. They want to holler. They want to hit new octane. They want that guy who's going to like just have them just speaking in tongues, uh, making contact with a great pumpkin. They want some guy who's going to have them floating so much that women be trying to put a pillow under her head. The dude be like, you don't even need that girl. Boom. That guy going to say, smacking that ass. They want both. It's a simple concept. Because like I've, and I've been saying, I've been saying this from the get go. Women want sex. Now they don't want it with every single, well most don't want it with every single man they meet, but they still want some. If you look at women, how they dress, how they adorn themselves, they still want sex. And as I've said before, one of the biggest complaints women have in many relationships, they'll get in a relationship with a good guy. Let's be real, a good, a truly good man, Got something, he can always get a relationship or he can always get started in one. But then the woman might step out on him because she ain't satisfied in the bedroom. She might just roll on him because she's not satisfied in the bedroom. She want that, she don't want that vanilla sex. She might give it to the relationship guy, but that's not what she want. Understand something about a woman's orgasm. They, they just, nat they actually naturally orgasmic, but because of the culture that we live in, they have to hold back, but they want that man who can free them. They want that man who, if they do certain things, he's not going to judge them. They want that man, if they said they done slept with a hundred guys, they like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, they want that type of guy. They want that guy, she just started doing some kinky stuff in the bedroom. The guy is like, okay. Let me, I got my whip over here, baby. <laughs> Shoot, they want that man who's gonna make them holler. They, they want that man. And I'm look, that's the whole thing with it. That's the whole thing with it. And it's like, men need to understand that. See, they want the best of both worlds. See, some guys think, oh, well, yeah, they want that jerk, that asshole or something. No, they settling for him. They actually settling for him. They enjoying the sex or something, but they still want that good guy. They legitimately do. But the biggest issue that women say about nice guys is they're not good in bed. That's the single biggest thing. Even when they give them a chance, they're not excited. Like, first of all, if they even get that far, most nice guys don't carry themselves in a way to even turn on a woman sexually. And that's it. And the women, and, and seriously, the women know it. They, they, and they'll be like, I wish they could be turned on by that dude, but it's just, it's not there. And let's be real, let's be real, because a lot of guys will say, well, yeah, they want that bad boy or something. Only if he's good in bed. <laughs> Only if he's good in bed. There's some guys on some foul stuff, they ain't getting any anyway, because they're not good in bed. And then there's some guys who don't look like Mr. Like, you know, supermodel, the male supermodel of the world, but they good in bed. But then can they take them out? In fact, uh, one of my mentors, uh, older gentleman, he wrote a book, uh, I t mentioned it before, Russell Price. He wrote uh, 
couple books, one for the women called Is He Your Man or Is Your Head in the Sand? I'll see if I can find a um, website for him and put that in the, in, the, in the description box. And then he wrote one years ago, I talked about she might not be your woman if. And in that book, he was constantly talking about women cheating and men who thought they had a woman, but then they were cheating on him. And that's some real stuff. And he knew because he was a police officer dealing with those situations. And that's the thing. You you gotta be both. A lot of but see a lot of guys they they focus on one but not the other. And that's on both sides. That was the um, really the impetus between but behind nice guys and players. Cause I had met a lot of players and they wanted a more serious relationship. They actually didn't want to be seen as a sex object. Now I know some guys would be like, oh yeah, I love to be. Mm. It's, it's a good thing, it's a bad thing. And I'll just say real quick, it could be a bad thing because yeah, well, it's a good thing. Definitely if you're getting like nothing but attractive women, but it's a bad thing. You, you getting the, um, you know, facially challenged, out of shape ones with bad dispositions <laughs> too. They, they coming for you and they can be a problem if they on a the job. So they catching their hell too. Honestly, I'd rather be the sex object, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, but no, nah, that's some real talk, though. That's some uh, real, you know, that's some real talk and everything. So it's, uh, I don't know how long this is going to be. My timer was off. I'm going to leave that in the video. But you want to be, really, you want to be that guy who's well-rounded. And anybody who's following my stuff know I'm, re I've been, I'm really focused on that. And anybody who's followed my series on ROM TV, and I'll put a link to it, Spotting Cheating Women, what do I say? There's a social man, there's the sexual man. And that's a very important thing. That's a very important thing to understand. And if you're a man, you're a good guy, you, you don't wanna have a my bad situation where somebody plowing your woman or your wife. Well, you need to make sure she don't want to look. You got to turn her out to the point she don't even want to think about it. I'm serious. She don't even want to, she ain't even thinking about it. She's satisfied. Hell, she's satisfied to the point she might let you, she'll let you, she'll share you. Because that's a key thing too. Oh, and that's something too, because I know a lot of people will talk about that. One of the reasons why many women, they'll engage in those type of relationships, polyamorous or sharing their man, at the minimum, the man they with got to satisfy them. Again, women looking for that. That's why they dip into the shadow world. You got to bring, you got to bring the sex. You got to bring the D. You got to bring the D, no matter what. But then if you're talking about a full relationship, you got to be able to know how to act in public. You know? In fact, uh, when I started mentioning Russell Price, one of the main things he, he had mentioned, he said, he said, all women got a man. He said that. Now, we got a slight disagreement there, but I respect what he said. He said, all women got a man. It's just, it might not be a man that they can present to the public. <laughs> And actually another woman, I'm still close to her to this day. She said a lot of times, you know, yeah, they, they'll uh, have a man, but you know, they might be the side piece or something. So you got maybe three or four women that got a man, <laughs> but what's he bring? He got to give them the D. He got to give them the, the D, all right? So anyway though, that's all I have for this one. That's all I have for this one. Um, get back with y'all. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.